Bonjour, bonjour, I'm the MC and today's video I'll be talking about why you should redraw your old drawings. Let's talk about it. But before we get into the topic, I want to show you guys something. I'm currently working on this canvas, so if you like to have a commissions canvas or prints, you can check on my website. I'll have the link down below. Also, I do Twitch videos and also you can check on my TikTok and Instagram. So we're going to get into why you should redraw some of the drawings, original characters or art you have done when you start drawing. We can say that or take one of your old drawings and redraw it now. So I'm just gonna show you guys the difference. This was me when I was 10 years old. And this was like, I think it was like back in like 2016. So there was a few gaps, right? But what I mean is redrawing a character you have created. So we're gonna do the same thing I've done on the previous videos. I'm gonna put some of the drawings or video behind while I'm talking and give you a few advice, all right? So I have a binder or a folder with my old artwork and sometimes I go back into it and just to see um, if I can redraw it and do a um, design or change the design and see what have I improved. So I like to draw comics and when I was younger, when I was in high school, I used to um, do um, some small little one shot comics, right? But I noticed that from the beginning to the end, the art will change. The same thing happened to me when I was working on a comic or a manga right now recently that is called Master Mika. The beginning, the character looked different and then I started seeing that even if you are still older, we can say now the age, your art improves every time, it doesn't matter. The art is not going to stop, so that's why it's a good idea to go back onto your old art drawing and check what is the difference that you have improved. And then that's a good tip to like, we can say post it, you know, that's a good motivation for yourself and see that you actually have improved and you can do much more of the design from the first design to the other design. If we go back to um, example, we can see Masashi Kishimoto when he started, that's the artist, author of Naruto, the very famous anime, I guess everybody knows about it. I even have the nails. Anyways, so um, Naruto is one of the most famous anime, manga, um, everybody knows. If you see the very first book of his manga, is completely different of how it has evolved we can say that so that's that's seen an example from from masters they already have built a career but you keep improving that's i think that's one of the very amazing part of being an artist that you keep improving even if you get older you're gonna turn into a master because you keep improving you're gonna be when you're the oldest you're gonna be better at when you were younger so yeah practicing every day is the key one of the video on my very first video not the very first video but on the one i did about talking about um sketchbook i said practice is the key so that's why it's good to practice and redraw your character i work on drawing realism and anime illustration um that's why I try to redraw everything from the very first drawing I've done. For example, one of the drawings I did was uh, Zeus. It was Zeus. <laughs> so it's in a statue, kind of tattoo style. So the very first time I did it, it, it was not the best. So one day I decided to redraw him. And that's when I noticed that okay i keep improving and i start seeing what was the the problem my problem was back when i was doing realism is that i don't see the object i always try to do it from my imagination even if you do the squares the little squares that you follow you know when you do the graded drawings and then you just pass it to the other one i used to do that i still wouldn't get the exact drawing and even if you're doing graded, when you do graded drawing, it should come out exactly because you're doing it with measurement. So that's when I find out like, why isn't my drawing not coming out, you know, like it should be. 
because I was doing it from my head. So that's what is good to redraw old drawings because there you can see what you're lacking and what you have improved. And for original characters, when I'm doing anime and manga, um, I, I try to redraw the original characters as much time as I can. I try to do profiles, stands, and profile views, nose, everything, hand movement, outfits, because you're trying to get the same character to look the same. That Because it, it's funny, it might sometimes not be the same character because of the distance of the eyes or their, their mouth, their jaw, everything. So that's why it's good to redraw your characters plenty of time. I'm talking about when I was in high school, I have a lot of original characters. We call it OC characters, OC original characters. And I'm gonna be honest, I was good at recreating the same character because I was working on drawing small one-shot anime, I mean, mangas, little one-shot. So drawing comics or manga, it helps you a lot to replicate each time the characters their movement their body shapes yeah so that's one of the things i noticed going back to my old drawings like oh, okay i was actually trying to mimic everything about the my original character and and sometimes you forget things i tell a lot of people keep your old drawing the sketches all the drawings you don't like keep your old drawing why because later on you will need that you will need to have build a portfolio of your old drawings and see the improvement that is that is very amazing seeing an old drawing from like for example nine years old to like for example 29 you know the 20 years of, of gap can make a lot of difference and see that there is transformation um i used to be like i don't like to keep ugly drawings i like to like i used to like rip the pages and everything until one person told me you should keep your drawings it looks good you know just keep it in a folder and i was like okay then just keep it in a folder and i was not going to look at it so i will just keep all the trashy <laughs> drawings that i like and stuff like that and the ones i did like i'll keep it as well and now that i'm older i can go back and see that oh wow i did good keeping old drawings so make sure you keep the old drawings that helps a lot trust me and and it motivates you a lot and other people that 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 can give hopes to other people to see like hey i'm drawing like i'm drawing actually like you're drawing when you were like this age so i can get to your level of art if i keep improving or if i keep practicing that's motivation I like traditional more, like my favorite traditional. Um, I'm more, I'm getting into digital because of Twitch and now that I'm doing some commissions and doing some stickers and stuff like that. So that's one of the reasons why I move into digital, but um, my favorite and always gonna be traditional using copics i feel like you get a connection with your drawing so that's probably why i kept all my old drawings because i feel like i have a bond um with my old drawings and when you see your old drawings you remember the moment when you start drawing you remember um what was your struggle like i said on one of my previous video my struggle was hands and i think everybody have that struggle as well because hands are very complex so it took me a lot of practice for that and now that i go back into my old drawings i can see that my characters were liking a little the hands sometimes i would draw two right hands sometimes i would draw two le left ones so that's something that is great to look back so one of my ideas i want to do in the videos it's probably redraw and showing you guys of my previous like my old original characters um i want to share the ones that i created back when i was 10 years old and let me tell you i was into drawing so much that i created them like they were my family like and the way that i bonded with these original characters a lot so it will be fun to share um the new version of my original characters of how i see them now because my taste of characters have completely changed um back in the days i think i was more into flamboyant 
guys looking like visual k now i'm into more into armor um soldier kind of like black luster soldier like if you play Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what i'm talking about like gaia style like all that kind of stuff like medieval style that's my favorite so it will be nice to see how i will if rechange and still be the same character so i think that will be great for my next video so let me know guys on the comment if you have any questions if you guys would like to see any more of certain artwork um yeah so make sure to check out my website if you guys want to ask for a commission i have prints again uh, i'll have merch um my manga our manga is going to be there master mika and also i do like i mentioned i do streams twitch uh my portfolio is on instagram and you can check on my tiktok as well so thank you for sharing um thank you for being here watching my video and hopefully i'll see you on the next one à la prochaine au revoir